averaging 228 yards rushing per game, and that's one of the things that I thought coming in, no way they're going to do that. They did that against Mountain West Coast. Had a tough defense coming in for him. That would have been fun to play for him. In fact, he was on the sidelines a couple of games I was playing in the old days and when the Raiders were in Los Angeles. Get on the power, deep. The kickoff and Stephen Harris, the short kick, trying to take it from the 10 and give Arkansas something to work with, but not much there. He is tackled down at the 21 by Jamal Wynn. You know, the fact that this young man is only a sophomore. Now you know who we are. Has every now reason you know. to hoot and holler. Had a great game. Wynn LB putting 24 unanswered points. Robinson, what a recruiter he must be. You've got to figure the father knows about Robinson sure. from his days. And as a kid, you got a chance to pre anticipate the UNLV would rush for 180 yards in the second half. And again, it's Brandon Holmes, the ball carrier. And the crowd continued to get into it. We talked about uh, the fruits of the recruiting one here. Uh, here, it appears they'll be perfect for the first time since 1977. Well, remember the interview with John Robinson talking about preparing for bowl games. Lost there, Corey Harris and Jim Ed Reed made the stop the jeep oahu bowl will kick off capital one bowl week on christmas eve 24th ranked georgia against virginia we'll have that for you todd and myself along with dave ryan from hawaii sunday 8 30 eastern both coaches coaching in their final game a variety of circumstances but george welsh from virginia jim donnan of georgia that should make for one entertaining football game in the Oahu Bowl. And I'll see you at Kailua Beach, Holmes. I look forward to that. <laughs> Tough to tell folks you're working. They say, where are you going? And you say, Hawaii. That's exactly you, right. You get the traditional snicker. And the showgirls on hand here at the Las Vegas Bowl. There was some question, depending upon the crowd here, but could the Las Vegas Bowl in general be in trouble? Welcome some decertification by the NCAA. They or drawing enough people, not enough interest. Uh, hopefully that is uh, not the case. The folks here in Las Vegas and at the Las Vegas Bowl have uh, put on a fine week and have taken good care and shown an awful lot of hospitality to uh, certainly Arkansas and the ESPN2 crew as well. And uh, looks like the paid attendance, they're calling it some 29,000. Might be the best crowd in Las Vegas Bowl history, this being the ninth year. That's a, was some 17,000 a year ago. Chitani to punt it away. And it's a high punt. They'll let it bounce. And, and everything is going UNLV's way. He's down at the one-yard line. Ray Chitani who's had a tremendous game and really a tremendous career. Last year, the fourth leading punter in the nation. An average of better than 45 yards. This year dropped off slightly to a 41-yard average, ranked 30th in the nation. The NFL Scouting Incorporated, they had him ranked in the spring as the top punter in the nation. And Toby Smelter is the guy that downs that ball, number 23. Smelter also happens to be the holder on kicks. So he's had a pretty full day for himself on special teams. A little message to the national television audience. 2.38 to go. Here in the fourth. You know, when I read his lips, he said, Steve, what do you think of Lemieux coming back? Did you <laughs> say that? No, I don't know. You didn't? I don't think that's what he said. Arkansas. Here's Hampton out of the end zone. An incomplete pass. Richard Smith was his inbounds. You can see John Robinson's reaction there. Come on, stay in bounds. We're trying to run the clock out. Five seconds left here in the fourth. And, you know, you want to say, hey, they'll be partying on the strip in Las Vegas tonight, but, you know, that's redundant. Win, lose, even if there's no football game, they're partying on the strip every single night in Las Vegas. Final half minute to play, and they give it to the fullback, George Gordon, the local product, the junior out of Las Vegas. And here come the fans for UNLV. They're a perfect 3-0 in bowl games all time now. A win in the California Bowl in 84 and right here at the Las Vegas Bowl in 94. 
John Robinson and the Rebels a supreme effort here tonight. They remain perfect on their home field, and they will finish with a four-game winning streak to end this season, their first since 1984. You get the sense more good things are coming John Robinson and UNLV's way. And certainly with a victory tonight, and seeing the players out there, the recruiting has got to pick up. There's nothing like winning to fix everything. John Robinson conceded that point to us yesterday. We got a good thing going here in the desert. You feel for Arkansas. They played so well down the stretch. Winning two games. They had the win against top 25 foes. First ending 13th ranked Mississippi State 16 game home winning streak. And then beating number 24 LSU. Let's go down to the field. Here's Heather Cox. Coach Robinson, congratulations on the huge win. You said you got back into college coaching because of the fun things in coaching, like mentoring these players. Is this what it's all about? Well, I think particularly for our the greatest joy I have is being around our players. Being around our players and giving and seeing what they have done. They have done some great things here. And it's energized the student body like never before. So all that's good. And have you introduced the nation today to Jason Thomas? Have you introduced the nation today to Jason Thomas? Did I? Yeah, I think so. I think he's a great football player. I think he's a great football player. A lot of celebrating going on. The fans have never seen anything like it in the history of UNLV football. Yeah, and, and you know, it still comes down to the kids playing the game. And they, we had some wonderful kids, and it was our night, uh, but it's the kids and, and how much they've grown that I'm really proud of. Coach, were you able to make a statement today about West Coast football against an SEC power? Uh, none of that is important. None of the, it's just this game, this night, playing here. Congratulations on an excellent performance. John Robinson now 8-1 and one in bowl games. And we certainly appreciate the coach protecting our sideline reporter. Heather nearly taken out by a goalpost. Well, here in Las Vegas at UNLV, their whole theme all year has been round two with all the boxing motif here in Las Vegas. This being the second year by John Robinson. And, uh, boy, you think about the team he took over as the eighth head coach. They were 0-11 when he took over. Not too many goalposts went down in that era, but they did tonight. It's got to be tremendously exciting. As he pointed out, he gave credit where credit is due to the young people and igniting the excitement on the campus there at UNLV. UNLV wins the ninth annual Las Vegas Bowl. For Todd Christensen and Heather Cox, this is Steve Levy. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more information, log on to ESPN.com. A winner here in Las Vegas. Let's go back to the studio and Chris Fallon. Okay, DJ, I'm ready.